Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation slash demonstration on protecting Windows Virtual Desktop in Azure using Sophos Security. Quick information about me, my name is David Okeode and I'm a cloud security architect. I specialize in security of cloud platforms like Azure, AWS and Google Cloud. So short introduction on Windows Virtual Desktop. It is a virtual desktop and application solution that is hosted on the Azure platform. And this solution has some interesting capabilities like support for multi-session Windows 10 experience. It's also much easier to set up when we compare this solution with other remote desktop solutions. And one of the reasons for that is that a big part of the solution is managed by Microsoft and abstracted from the administrator. And in light of recent events in our world with COVID-19, this has become a popular solution for organizations that are looking to enable workers to work remotely and have access to the applications and services that they use for their day-to-day -day work. So here's a high level architecture of the solution. Now, it's clear from this diagram that certain components of the service are managed by Microsoft. But it is equally clear that the customer has certain components that they manage and are responsible for. And that is our areas of focus in this presentation slash demonstrations. The core of what we're discussing is that Windows Virtual Desktop is not a secure by default solution. And we have certain responsibilities as customers to secure it. Now, having a closer look at this architecture diagram, the same one I showed you earlier, we can see mentions of access, management, diagnostics, but there's no mention of security. And this is where the software security solutions comes in to help us to secure the aspect of this solution that we manage and ultimately securing our digital assets. So here's the value that software security solution brings to this service. So we have visibility and detection, analysis and investigation and incident response. Now to the demo. This will be a two part series video. And the first part, I will deploy Windows Virtual Desktop into Azure. And then I'm going to protect the session host of the solution using the Sophos Intercept X solution. So that'll be the first part. In the second part of this video, I'll deploy the Sophos XG firewall to provide an added layer of security on the network front. So that's called defense and debt. So let's get right into the current environment and then I'll go ahead and show you the demo. So here's the current environment that I have. So I have a virtual network in Azure that has two subnets. One of the subnets has a domain controller. Now in the other subnet, I will be deploying the Windows Virtual Desktop solution, the session host into the other subnet. I will then be protecting that using the Surface Intercept X solution, which will be registered to Surface Central and I'll be able to get policies from Surface Central into that. The next part of the video, as I mentioned, I will be deploying the Surface XG firewall into another virtual network in Azure. I'll call that the security virtual network. I will create a peering relationship between the network that v v Windows Virtual Desktop Solution resides and my security virtual network. I'll configure a root table or route table, however you pronounce that, so that traffic that's going out to the internet or traffic that's even going out to other networks, it's gonna be routed through my Surface XG firewall solution. So that way I will be able to do security checks and be able to gain visibility and be able to enforce compliance on the network level also. So let's get right into that. So to the deployment of the Windows Virtual Desktop, I'll go ahead and search for Windows Virtual Desktop. And one of the options that I get is this option in the marketplace for Windows Virtual Desktop for which I host pool. If I go ahead and click on that option and I click on create, I'll fill in the information about my resource group. I'll go ahead and specify the region that I want to deploy this into. So it's going to be in the region where my virtual network exists. So I'll select UK South. The host pool name, I'm going to be creating a new host pool. So I'll be giving it that name. And for this case, I'll be specifying pool so that multiple users can share the same pool. So for desktop users, I have two users that 
I'll start with that I'll be David and Brenda and I'll leave the metadata location as United States. I'll click next to configure usage profile be light because it's a test environment and total number of users I'll set that to two so that reduces the number of virtual machines that will be deployed to one. For the virtual machine name prefix, I'll specify a name that's less than two characters, sorry, less than 12 characters, I mean. Now for the virtual machine settings, I'll be using the Windows 10 Enterprise Model Session image. I'll put in information to join this host to my domain. So I'll go ahead and put in information of an admin. I won't specify any OU. In this case, I'll select the virtual network that has my domain controller, and I'll specify the subnet that I want to deploy this host pool into, which is this other subnet. So I'll go ahead and click next. For the virtual desktop information, I'll put in my tenant's name. If you're not familiar with what this is, this is not a video to go into details about this service. I'll put my, a link to a Microsoft documentation in the description below and you can have a quick look at those. So it guides you into how to create the tenant. So in this case, I'll put in my tenant name that I created already. And I'll put in information about the service principle that I created already also. So I've got a service principle and I've got an application ID. I've got the password. And I've also got my Azure AD tenant ID. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. I'll go ahead and click on review and create. So that does a review and a validation of the template. Once that's passed, I'll go ahead and click on create. And that should begin the process of deploying the host pool and also the session host. I'll go ahead and pause the recording and wait for this to complete. So once this is completed, I'll show you the rest of the process. So welcome back. So the deployment of Windows Virtual Desktop completed su successfully. So I can go to the resource and I can examine what's been deployed. So I have a session host here, so that's good. So the next thing that I'll be doing, let me go back to the presentation to show you what's the next step that I'll be doing. So that's what I've done. I've deployed the session host. Next thing that I'll be doing is I'll be deploying the Surface Intercept X agent onto that session host. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna connect to that session host with a user that has admin privileges to the deployment. For me to go through this part, I need a Surface Central account. And you can sign up by going to central.surface.com and just click and sign up here. So that will take you to the place of signing up for a free trial for 30 days um, to, to begin with. So what I'll do is I'll log into my Sofa Central account to show you what that looks like. So one of the other things that I have is I've linked my Sofa central account with Microsoft Azure. That's a topic for, for another day. If I go over to server protection here, you can see that if I go under service and if I go under Azure VMs, it's detected my session host. It's detected that it doesn't have any service protection on it. So obviously what I want to do is I want to have this protected. So that's the next one that I'll do. To connect to the host, I'll just open up a new browser tab. And what I'll do is I'll paste in this URL. So that is out the web.wvd.microsoft.com forward slash web client. So I can also use a desktop client, but I'll be using a web client for this demonstration. So because I'm signed in with the same credential that has access, I will be um, taken to a web page where you can connect to my virtual desktop. 
and here you go you can see that's the pool if I go ahead and click on the pool I'll just be connecting my clipboard and I'll click on allow and then it's going to begin the process of connection prompted to enter my credentials I'll go ahead and put in my username david at supercloud.xyz and I'll put in my password also and I'll click on submit So now logged into the system so what i'll do is i'll bring up microsoft edge i'll go to central.surface.com and authenticate with my credentials so i'll put in my central sofa central details and i'll put in my password I go ahead and click sign in and what I'll do is I'll go on the protect devices here and on the protect devices I'll click on the option to download the complete Windows installer so if I click on that so that's gonna attempt to download the installer I'll just go ahead and click on run and that's gonna begin the process of installing this agent now it's gonna be installing the agent called Surface Intercept X for server is what it's going to be installing and that's going to protect my multi-session environment so that will require the server license from for of surface Intercept x but that's going to protect every user that's logged in or using the session host if i go ahead and click continue here and i'll go ahead and click on install and that will take a few minutes to proceed so i'll go ahead and pause the recording so once this um installer has completed the installation job i'll restart the machine and then i'll just show you where the policies can be configured and that will conclude the first part of this video so welcome back so the deployment completed successfully so i need to restart the machine so if i go ahead and click finish in that so that's going to restart this session host and while it's restarting i'm going to show you how to configure the policies in surface central so if i go to surface central if i go on the if i go back to the main view and if i scroll down under my products i have server protection here so if i click on the server protection and if i click on the service I can see that it's detected the agent being installed on the session host if i go on the azure vms i can see the virtual machines that i have running in azure which one is protected by the surface intercept x solution and which one isn't so the one that is protected i can click on this link here to take me to the server so i can see the status of of the agent and what's going on i can apply policies like um, i can lock it down i can initiate a scan remotely but the thing I want to show you is about configuring the policy. So if I go under configure on the policies here, you can see that the solution itself has multiple layers of defenses and protection and visibility built into it. So for example, you have thread protection, peripheral control, application control, web control, server lockdown, and many other policies that we could configure. If I wanted to create a custom policy, um, because those are the base policy that will apply, if I wanted to create a custom one, I can go ahead and new policy for let's say threat protection. And if I click on continue, I can select my server or my instance, or I can put it into a group and apply the policy to the group. And then if I go on the settings, I can see the different layers, even just in this component of the solution. So this is just one component of the same solution and you can see the layers of defense that exist in this. You have crypto guard for protection against ransomware attacks, and you have protection against master boot record ransomware, you have protection for processes, you have anti-exploit, you have the deep learning solution. There's multiple layers of defense that's built into this solution is what I'm trying to show you. So what you do is you configure your threat protection policy, you configure the different other policies like peripheral control, app control, web control, and the others, and you apply them to the server. And the server is going to grab all this policy, apply it to itself, and that's going to protect protect all the users that are logging into your session host. So 
that brings me to the end of this particular video so what we have so far i'll go back to the slides so we can do a quick review of what we have so far so this is what we've done so far we've installed intercept x and that's registered with server central and we can configure policies for that so what i'll be showing you afterwards is how we can add another layer of the fence to that by deploying the surface xd firewall on the network level and then creating the peering relationship between this network and the security network and then configure routing so everything can flow through the xd firewall so i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching